All right, what's up, YouTube? We are going to be playing some Junda Shadow here. Oh, I have to go here to change it on my Stream Decker. Oh, gosh, I'm still working on all these commands for these. Okay, so we're in here and we go. So this hand is not very good. We're actually just gonna ship this. We're on the draw, we don't have a removal spell. So that hand's just not great. This hand is not much better, but at least we can traverse for like a land to get a terminate or get Tarmogoyf going on here. So let me go set this as the deck. We're gonna keep this. Um, so that's a piece of interaction, but we've already got a removal spell. I think we like if that was a discard spell, I'd keep it on top. But I don't think that's what we're we're looking for here. Opponent leads off with a polluted delta. I think I've played this guy before. I think he's like a control deck. Do I get mod kickbacks? Um, <laughs> mod kickbacks. I applied with a card hoarder. I applied with a. I'm gonna bobble myself here. There's a land on top. There's just another bobble. I applied with Card Hoarder. I applied with, uh, um, who did I apply? I applied with Card Hoarder, Goat Bots, and MTGO Traders. So, still owes me for my two maskers. You're going to get them one of these days. Let me tell you what. I think we're going to get Breeding Pool so that we just have more sources here. Does it matter? Like, so if it's, I mean, Esper Storm, maybe UW, but Rock, you, you can probably play like what? Any blue land? Spreading Seas. That sucks. We got, we got, we got some, we got some problems going on today. At least we have a Meyer on top. Why, the reason why I fetched there or do that like I did there was so that. If I draw a stub, I could use it on my opponent's turn here. Is my stream decker working? Let's take a look here. It could be a breach deck. So am I just going to jam this Liliana? I'm probably going to jam this Liliana. We're getting, we're getting X-Arced. All right. You probably should tap this one, yeah. Playing against some Splinter Twin stuff. All right, we're not going to worry about this right now. My opponent Blood Moons me. They Blood Moon me. Stream Decker's working. Nice. My opponent gives me the moon. I mean, we have this abrupt decay, and we have stub back up. Now we got push. So Alright. Bluff called. You never know, they might go for it. Yeah, dude. My opponent twins me. I'm going to be pissed. Forget, yeah. Those were those were different days, much simpler days. So on the bright side, our stub is turned on, which is going to give us delirium. So if we hit a land, 
we can go Lily. We can go like abrupt decay. If he just goes for it here, which would be just unreal if he did. But if he goes for it, we go decay, untap Lily the the Kiki Jiki, which is the dream. There he goes. It's fifth land. You know you want to, man. God, what a Sally. Probably still just going to decay this thing anyways. Because I don't want to sink my mana. Well. What is this? Yeah, we're going to stub this. What we got? If my opponent remands my stub, that's fine. I think I'm just going to decay this. And then... I'll just traverse for a fetch land and edict this exarch. He remanded his own. Okay. All right. Bringing it back. So I think. I think I'm just going to abrupt decay this. And then I'm just going to play Liliana and go up with it. Like, yeah, it's going to make me pretty rough against Moon, but he's going to have a hard time dealing with a Liliana. And then we've got Revolt there, which is great. So let's hold this up. We're probably not cracking that fetch land for a while. I don't think we need another... I would just rather have the removal to kill the pieces. I don't think we're going to need another threat to win this game. Uh, no, that's stupid. That's stupid. I know he's got it. Oh my god! I just completely forgot about the uh, completely forgot about the stupid uh, engineered explosives. Just zoned out there. That's all right. I mean, we're gonna we're gonna give our opponent a tough question here. Yeah, I just forgot about the explosives. We 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 got some tight plays here in the Hovenwald. But we're all right, because now he's got like the tough decision here between am I getting rid of this Liliana or am I getting rid of this uh, Tarmogoyf. Each will probably do a serious number. I still love you. That's all I'm talking. That's all I need to hear, Johnny. So, Johnny, are you guys going down to Philadelphia or what are you doing? Okay, so here comes here comes the boom. This was just a mistake that we made here. That was interesting that he remanded. I guess he puts him up a card. Remanding his own spell. Probably the best use of remand. Going up. Who's, uh, who's going to be your third player? He ditches a cryptic. If he's ditching a cryptic, he's got to have a snapcaster. That's a solid team, man. Is Delray going to play standard? Yeah. And you'll play modern, and then coffee will play legacy? Okay. So despite potentially screwing up this entire game, we still could win. Bolts my Liliana. All right. All right. Electrolyze. And coffee just decided we might also consider.
What do you mean one of his oldies, Johnny? I think we're not going to... We're just going to keep this fetch land around. We're not going to get rid of this thing yet. Okay, so now we're going to get rid of this thing. Because if you ever want to feel like a moron, get your Death Shadow Lightning Bolted. I think I'm just going to push this now. I, like The last thing that I want my opponent doing is like bouncing this with a cryptic command. And I really don't want to have to use like two on this. And I can't, if he attacks with it, I can't really block it because then he'll bolt my death shadow, which is not good. If we can build up Micah's Endurance or Kish Pirate once then. I have no idea what you're saying. I'm kind of liking in this version of the deck, the breeding pool. I'm a pretty big fan of this thing. All right, that's not bad. I guess we might as well attack, because regardless, he's going to, um, if he's going to tap it, he'll tap it anyways. And now let's check out what he's got going on. It was Grixis before. I, I did a league with Grixis to start. And then by popular decision of a 2-0 two, vote, we moved over to Jund. You got to get up early. You got to be up early, man. We don't, we don't deal with any slacking here. What is going on with my Streamlabs here? Snapcaster Mage. So what is he going to do here? If he tries to bounce his Snapcaster, I guess I'll just take his Exarch. So he's going to bounce... He's going to bounce my Death Shadow. I could terminate my own Death Shadow in order to uh, in order to counter the spell. So I don't want to kill this now. I probably don't. I'm just going to get my get my uh, Death Shadow down again. You'd have killed Snapcaster there, Johnny. <laughs> this breeding pool's messing me up here. All right, you get the remand. So now, hopefully, he sits here and he. Hopefully, this is like a cryptic. We're going to get templed out of this game because of the mistake that I made earlier. Yeah, the pool the pool is is not great, but we had to fetch that we fetched that on turn 1 in order to um we fetched it on turn 1 so that we could uh whatever I was going to say. Gosh, I'm losing my train of thought. We fetched it on one so that we could traverse for a swamp and have three of our colors. Which always kind of hurts, but we're on a mulligan. We kind of need another land. Alright, what is this? If this is a bolt, I think I'm going to stub it. Oh, it's an opt? Okay. You cannot play a modern... You can't play a deck that slow in modern, man. 24 viewers. I hope everyone's having a good day. Waking up here. We're starting to get some more people. I tend to get on stream a little early, which takes away from my viewers for probably the first hour or so. So. Hey, Dom Crit, how you doing? So they played a Steam Vents, okay. Baby Jace. 
I know what's getting terminated. I would like to draw one more threat here. God, ask and you shall receive. I probably should attack first. Well, let's get this. Let's start here. Spell snare. Show me another counter spell. All right, so I think we serve in here, make him block. Yeah, okay, so he just, now he plays Pestermite, all right. He taps this. Now we play another Death Shadow. There's a lot of draws we lose to here. A lot of draws we lose to. Okay, it's coming in the air. So we can't cast that thought. So he's got to block both of these. So we're not winning by not attacking. So he does double chomp. And we just kind of like hope he misses on a draw step here. And again, we're only the only reason he's in this game is because we made a mistake. Okay. That can mean a lot of things. If he's got a tapper, then he still keeps playing. Alright, or he can just have nothing. Snap cryptic, okay. I was surprised we did we won that game. All right, so against this deck, I don't really know. I kind of like my first inclination is to board out red and board out like a push and then board into some white cards. I can't board out all of my counter spells because my opponent is going to have Blood Moon. I'm not sure TBR is where this deck wants to be right now after doing some critical thinking. So I'm just trying a version without it. Makes the mana base better for to facilitate the blue cards a little bit. I think I just like the blue cards better than the team of battle rage at the moment. So I kind of want to be able to grind because I know he's going to bring in some mom and pop P and Ks. So maybe I want like a couple strokes also because he's probably got a mom and pop. He might have um, whatever the moron is that's good. Um, the Karanos, the God of Storms. Yeah, guys, check that YouTube channel out. I am looking to get my videos monetized, and I am a quarter of the way to my necessary views. I think I probably want to cut... Um, I think I probably only want like one Lingering Souls, which gives me room for one Disdainful Stroke, and I have three Fatal Pushes. We still got the breeding pool in. Yeah, I think this is what we're going to do here. Because I want to be able to grind a little bit, but I do need to be able to counter some some very important spells from my opponent. Like this hits Kiki Jiki, hits Mom and Pop, hits Cryptic Command, hits Karanos. Yeah, I think I've got to ship this hand. Because I need to draw another land for it to work. We've only got 17 looks at it. We do have three draw steps, and I can scry. If I hit a second land, I guess I'm in good shape. I guess I'll keep this. Johnny said, 
Where in the hell is TBR, all uppercase? Now I wish I would have shipped it. All right, let's look at the top card here. See if it's a land. It's a land. Go team. These Tarmogoyfs are going to be pathetic. So I think I'm going to just hold up here. I doubt I'm going to play a Goyf. I don't want to get Blood Mooned. Okay, so now that our mana problem is going away. The nice thing is that next turn, I'll be able to play like a Death Shadow and still have a Rupt up. This land gets me Godless Shrine. This gets Breeding Pool. And then our mana is our mana's set. So I go Godless Shrine. The problem if I do this is like if he goes end step, taps a, taps one of my lands for me to play this Death Shadow, then he goes like tap a land, then he can Blood Moon me if he plays another land and plays around Stub. So I think we're just going to pass. I think we're just going to play slow here. My opponent doesn't really have anything going on, so I'm pretty sure we can get away with it. Yeah, I put all of my stream archives up on uh, up on that channel. I'm gonna untap again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So now we're gonna start. I guess now we're gonna start fetching because. So we have Godless Shrine here. Breeding pool because now I don't want to discard. Then I think we'll get watery grave and we'll leave up our double blue here and play this death shadow. And if my opponent's going to moon me, they're going to moon me. If we untap with a threat, we should be in good shape, but this could be a dangerous spot. Okay, so they relic of land. Get rid of the catacombs. Should have gotten rid of the bloodstained iron in case they want a surgical one of those. Yep, they got that. We're in a tough spot. They draw a card. Now I feel like I'm almost, like we're just in a tough spot now. I feel like I'm almost forced. I'm not going to decay this, but it might come down to like needing to. Well, that was a decent draw. So let's go. Let's get an overgrown tomb. I need to be cautious of my life total after in the future here. Yeah, yeah, so we would be fine, Domcret, but we also, like, we also need to do it. We need to be able to progress our board while we can take care of Blood Moon, because if we progress our board and can't handle Blood Moon, that's just the easiest way to lose. My opponent missequences this. They could mess this up. I guess they're sequencing, right? So yeah, I was almost done with this deck, like, just a little frustrated, kind of down on it. What do we got here? Roast. My Tarmogoyf has been roasted. What is my opponent? My opponent just has nothing going on. This is a weird, this is going to turn into a very weird game.
KTK, I'm not sure what that means. Cycle. All right, now we're playing magic because this is going to be difficult for him to handle. With the counter spells and decays, we have a threat that can finally stick and turn on our stub and our stroke. So the nice thing about playing this breeding pool is we can hold up two different, um, two different whatever they are now, two different counter spells. Roast. Okay. Yeah, I, I assume you were talking about Kazatark here. I just didn't know that like where it was coming from. It had the roast is where it was coming from. My opponent plays Moon here, I'll let it resolve, and then decay it. Engine explosives for one. I think we're just going to, I think we got to stub this. This gives my opponent a chance to land a Blood Moon, but I should have used, no, I could have, I just, I just went, lost my mind there. I could have tapped that and held up Blood Moon. God, we totally deserve to lose this game now. I forgot this turned it on. Yep, nope, that was a mistake. Zoned out there. And then we get, okay. All right, so now we've got to abrupt decay this. We're good now. We are not. We are not playing super well this morning, though. We'll play this to help play around our Blood Moon here, but we're definitely a little off. We're not going to play Tarmogoyf, even though we could here. We're just going to play like hold up Disdainful Stroke for like if he goes Exarch into Kiki Jiki. Yeah, we definitely we definitely punted. We're making we're making some less stellar plays this morning. So he's fetching their upkeep. He's stay in island through a blood moon. So like if he casts blood moon, I'm still in good shape. Alright, let's prompt a response. If they blood moon, that will be a my later time stamp. Okay. Okay, so opponent's dead. That's why you're here, Johnny. Your expertise. Yeah, dude. Get out of my house. Step right. So one match in, we're playing tight. Kicking butt, you know. Opponent appears to be salting off. Or at least slowing down, one of the two. Oh, no, they're being nice. GG. My opponent's talking about how they don't think that Disdainful Stroke should be in my deck after sideboard. And he might be right. Like, if he's only got two Cryptic Commands, then it shouldn't be. But I was afraid of Mom, Pop, and Karanos. And then he's got also cards like Jace Architect of Thought they could play if he's thinking I'm bringing in Lingering Souls. So maybe, maybe my opponent's right.
Well, that and like five, five or six basics, eight basics. God. Yeah, my opponent says mom and pop are the real deal in this matchup, but not sure if you want to fight on this axis. Maybe it's even right. See ya. Okay. All right, let's put this deck up here. I'm going to grab some more Tofefe. I saw I had a follow during that game. Let me give that a look here. What do we got here? Dom Crit, thank you very much. I appreciate the support there. My Streamlabs is tweaking out. Dom Crit and Rankin. Rankin1392, thank you very much. Yeah, so... Yeah, thank you guys very much. I'm looking, I'm really looking to, so I need to, I have a goal. I was talking with uh, GoatBots about like a sponsorship and they said that, you know, they tend to only wait till there's about a thousand, um, a thousand followers is kind of their threshold. So now I have a goal to shoot for. So I, I appreciate all the support that you guys can give me here with the follows. If you guys like what you see. So, so I post. I don't think, I, I think I would, this is like the real problem with modern here is that like, in like this is, this right here, I'm going to go on like a mini rant. This is why, because like this, this hand is either absolutely insane or absolutely god awful and there's no in between. You need only 800 more? You're getting there. Thank you. Like, so this hand, thank you very much, uh, Dom Crit. So this hand here is like frustrating because it's an, it's very good versus half the format and god awful. Um, and god awful versus the other half of the format, which is really frustrating. There's no way to fix that. It's why, like, I'm if I get if I get these sponsorships, like I'm really looking for. I'm gonna keep it because I don't think we can mulligan this. We got, you know, it's either great or not. Um, is that I'm looking to get into like some legacy because like if you have a hand like this and you have a brainstorm, it just fixes it and it's gonna let you play more magic. All right, so we're playing a serum vision deck. I would assume that this is like a through the breach deck or storm just with weird lands. So at least we get. A couple looks at another land here or some interactions. So we're going to keep Street Wraith because it's the same thing as shuffling it away. And it's going to let us look at a couple more cards here. So what did they do with this? So they played a Mr. Ravencast. Okay, so they put a card on the bottom and on the bottom. So we're going to keep our Street Wraith. We'll check out their top card here. Remand. I, I think they're a through the breach deck because I don't, unless they've got the wrong, unless they got weird fetch lands, which they could. All right, so let's look at our top card here. Okay, we do want that. So let's cycle. Let's get Overgrown Tomb. And now we got to be on like the Blood Moon Watch here because this is, you know, another good way to lose this game is to get mooned. That's a pretty good.